rolling. Nice meeting you. So years ago, I was just telling you over at the IBMA, uh, you guys seem to have been a new band then. You've been around for a while. Tell us about how uh, how you put uh, Bill and the Bells together. You got it. Yeah. So we've been a band for about four years. Uh, we're out of East Tennessee, Johnson City, Tennessee, to be exact, which is the most eastern corner right there in the state of Tennessee in the mountains. And you know, we all come from all over the United States, and we ha by happenstance met in East Tennessee. Uh, but our love for early country music is what brought us together. Um, you know, I was playing in a honky tonk band with our fiddler Clea Yagel for a couple of years when we started messing with some Jimmy Rogers type tunes and some early pop tunes uh, and that quickly developed into uh, becoming Bill and the Bells. Grace came, came on board and we had sort of a new way of stacking harmonies and working on arrangements in a different way and next thing you know we were full-fledged doing Bill and the Bells and touring nationally kind of right out of the gate. So it's been a fun ride for the last four years and uh, you know, the culmination of those four years, we just released our new record, Dream Songs, etc., on Jalopy Records. It's our first full studio record, and uh, we're really, really proud of it. Uh, folks should go check it out. It's called Dream Songs, etc. And where do we find it? You can get the new record at Jalopy Records. That's our record label. Or, of course, you can go to BillandTheBells.com for more information. Uh, there's all sorts of ways to find it. If you, if you look for it, it'll hit you in the head. Well, I see you're playing a lot more shows. I see you on the, uh, a lot of the uh, festival uh, uh, lineups and everything. Uh, so you're playing around. You have a couple of, uh, at least one new member. Uh, the how, How'd you get them uh, to join? It's a whole different kind of feel. It's the same feel, but with yeah. a little bit more flavor to it. So we do, uh, we've been traveling this leg of our tour. We've been, we've been out for about 10 days here uh, as of recent. And we've been traveling with Aaron Alwell, who's playing clarinet with us. Uh, and Aaron actually recorded on our record. He, he sat in and helped us out, uh, adding kind of a early sort of hot jazz feel to what we've been doing. So kind of putting that into, in, into what we do is a perfect fit. It makes a lot of sense if you listen to a lot of the early 20s and 30s music. Um, so he's, he's joined us. 
us and you know here and there we're going to be doing five piece tours delaware valley is the first festival that gets to experience our five piece um, but yeah we've got quite a few other festivals later in the fall that we'll be doing as a five piece but the core of the band is a four piece it's grace van hoff on banjo klee yegel on fiddle carl zerfus on bass and of course me on guitar well one of the, one of the things that i find uh, really uh interesting is it seems like uh, the, the word retro kind of like if there was an old movie or something back in the 20s I would suspect if they turned on the jukebox you guys would be playing I, when you were younger uh, was that something you were interested in or is that just like something that kind of popped up and it worked and you guys said let's go for it um, I personally have been uh, really inspired by radio for a long, long time. And, you know, there's a great history of, of country radio. Uh, and a lot of those old shows, you know, the way that folks performed on them, I soaked that in and have tried to incorporate that in a Bill and the Bells show. Uh, but, of course, with like a contemporary modern interpretation of that. Um, so, you know, I think, I think that's what people are hearing often when they, they see that we have sort of a different stage show. Like, you know, we are a house band for a show called Farm and Fun Time, um, where I write all the jingles for that show. Our band performs them, and then, of course, you know, we also do various segments through that, but we'll play, like, fiddle tunes for transitions and things like that uh, to make sure that there is no dead time during the show. So we're really trying to be kind of rapid fire about our approach um, and try to make it enter as entertaining as possible, you know? What, what were some of the bands that you listened to growing up? I came into early country music uh, in a way that I think a lot of folks have experienced. Um, I started out as kind of a rock and roll guitar player in my teen years and playing, you know, like Stones covers and things like that and finding out about people like Jimmy Reed and Bo Diddley uh, and Chuck Berry and then finding out that they were inspired by folks like Bill Monroe. You know, Chuck Berry always said that he loved country music and then finding out about Bill Monroe led to Jimmy Rogers, which of course led to a whole slew of other wonderful musicians that, you know, that I think when people hear us, they can hear we're influenced by those folks. So, you know, I've listened to kind of a, the whole gamut of American music and, and I've always continually gone backwards instead of forwards, I guess, with the, with the leanings of what I, what I really like. Well, I hear that uh, you guys are uh, picking right there. Can we get a one or two songs from you? You sure can. We'll do it. <laughs> 